Um, 28 and 2 with 18 KOs, November the 28th, 2015. It's going to be a, a PBC on NBC midday card because at night they got that Showtime card with uh, Lucy and Butte and James DeGale. Um, also, the Charlo is going to be headlining this card. But basically, got Errol Spence versus um, Alejandro Barrera. And no, you don't know him. No, you haven't seen him fight anywhere. And this is the reason why I say Errol Spence is still a work in pro progress. He's like he, he he's a prospect, you know, OK, he's above the prospect level right now. But the reason why he's fighting guys like Chris Van Herden, you know, who is highly ranked, by the way. And then he goes down a couple of notches and fights a guy like um like this Alejandro Barrera guy is because he's still a prospect. But yet people were saying Errol Spence should fight. I mean, Errol Spence should fight Keith Thurman and all this type of stuff. It's like, no, why are you rushing them along? He's going to be in title contention next year. Now, do I feel honestly that he should be fighting a guy like this that we never heard of? No. But at the same time, I'm looking at, okay, well, he did fight, what, four times this year so far. So I kind of see where he's going with this. And also, it's going to be like um, him fighting in front of his people in Dallas. So in Tishri Controversy, this is Tishri Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Errol Spence versus Alejandro Barrera on the undercard of... Um, Charlo, was it Charlo versus Alcine? No, Charlo versus um Camford. Uh, uh Silky Wilky Camford. Ew, that sounds horrible. I'm calling him man Silky. But anyway. Um Errol Spence is good. I would like to see after this. Now it wasn't now it was at one point in time. It was Errol Spence versus Aaron Martinez on the table. Errol Spence, I mean Aaron Martinez is known for that very close fight where a lot of people felt he beat Robert Guerrero. And also just recently he just beat Devin Alexander. Errol Spence was rumored to be be fighting him. I think that would be a big fight for Errol Spence to take next. Now I'm thinking it's time for him to start stepping up as far as the competition. And I'm thinking it's time for him to maybe fight like a guy like a Robert Guerrero. Hell, I would like to see Errol Spence versus a Devin Alexander. I thought I was about to sneeze. For some reason, allergies or whatever the case may be. Um, Errol Spence versus a Devin Alexander. You know, fighting guys like Sean Porter or Keith Thurman next, you know, it really doesn't really do much for me right now because I'm thinking you would be putting his career in jeopardy. He's not quite ready for those guys yet. Maybe later on in 2016. Yeah. But there's a lot of fighters on the level, you know, of an Errol Spence as far as prospect. Like, for example, Aaron Martinez is the perfect fight for him. You know, fighting this Alejandro Barrera guy is just a fight for him to look good against against a fighter that we've never seen. And what does that mean? It means nothing. It's just a PBC showcase fight to me. So it's not really too much to get hype about this fight, you know, for. It's just that, oh, we're seeing Errol Spence in action. That's good that he's staying active. That's the only good thing we could take out of this fight is that he's staying active. T-Street Controversy. T-Street Controversy Live.